Hey guys, Grassman here, playing more uh, Magic Struggle. Yes, load the game. So we're doing the, we're trying to get 40 minutes on this one. So remember, we got just over 40 minutes on a zone. now we're trying to get just over 40 minutes, or at least, at least 40 minutes on, in laboratory. So, uh, here's our current artifacts, or I guess these are our abilities. Um, astronomer we chose, our satellite's maxed, um, we're missing one refined mana, we have maxed shield, uh, maxed, maxed of the two electric things there, thunderstorm is close to maxed, I think we're looking for the other electric one as well, right? Um, thunderstorm electric zone, electric bolt, and shockwave, energy bolt? Energy bolt? No. Thunder, is it, is it, is it electric? No. There's electric bolt, thunderstorm. I don't know what the other one is. Um, we're also getting the frost things. Uh, cooldown, I think. Longer the frozen for the better. We're also playing as the uh, jack o' lantern, so we can go, so we don't get like caught on things. So we'll just go like through things if we accidentally run into someone instead of just re repeatedly hitting him. That's a whole lot of stuff over there. None of that had just spawned. That was all just following us. So we got the fusion for spark. I don't think so. Actually, here though, we can see how many um, magics there are. There's 5, 15, 18 magics now. And we're specifically wanting... Um, the specific ones we're going for is top, middle, the one below that, the one to the left of that, four on the right and the third row, and then cloaking and shield. That sums up pretty much what we're after. Um, so I'll take Thunderstorm, uh, cooldown, radius, or damage. I think I'm gonna go... Radius could be good. I think I'll go damage. Let me know in the comments what you think the best one for Thunderstorm is. Because I don't actually know. Cooldown could be good. It already triggers quite frequently, though. It triggers, like, every second and a half, maybe. So if I got, like, that cooldown thing, it might trigger every second or so. Um, okay, so Electric Shock is the other one. So Thunderstorm, Electric Bolt, Electric Shock, Energy Zone. Electric Zone. See, Electric Shock is also pretty good. Because it has that, like, automatic AoE similar to... Similar to all the other ones we have. Look at all these, like, just small, tiny guys. And we're at 18 minutes. So we can't hit 40 today. We'll have to, we'll have to be one, we'll have to have a third part as well. Today the goal is to survive and get as many of our abilities maxed as we can. Now here's spirit. We still haven't picked up any spirit now. That's the first one there. I'm still like smelling blood. I had a nosebleed earlier. It's quite a bad one too. I need to put on some, there's a certain nose cream you can use for, um, nosebleeds. I had one, uh, like, a week ago I was supposed to put on some stuff then, but... And it's strange, because it's, it's, like, the, it's summer now. It's the middle of... It's past... It's almost the end of June. So, no, no, nosebleeds are the thing that usually happen in winter when everything's drier. So I'll have to do some of the nose cream, drink a bunch of water. We're doing, um, for gardening this year, we're doing, uh, what's it called? We're doing a bunch of things. We're doing hydroponics, and we're doing vertical gardens. So, basically, if you don't know, these those are, like, the most efficient, like, kind of crazily efficient ways to actually grow food in general. With hydroponics, you're actually able to grow fish. You, you can have, like, fish that you can use for meat growing in the bottom, in, like, the water reservoir for plants. 
and certain fish and plants combine really well. So you can have, like, hydroponics is just where you've got, like, rows of plants in, like, pi in, um, plastic pipe tubing. And then just have it connect to water, and you can sometimes have fish in the bottom. We don't actually have fish in the bottom. We've got, like, we have saltwater fish, but those aren't, like, eating fish. Different things. That's pretty good MP gains. Um... This isn't helping us at all. Uh, I'll take the electric shock. Um, min number could be good. I'll take min, no min number. Um, and the other thing is vertical gardens are incredibly efficient. You know with me, it's like all about efficiency. If you don't, you don't know me. So, vertical gardens... It's where you... So certain plants, like, grow up. So, like, vines and stuff. And even things like, um... I think it's carrots. You can grow, um... Like, up a bit. So we've got, like... We've got a bunch of beans and peas and tomatoes and stuff. So beans and peas... Are like vines, so what you can do is you can attach a rope. You can you can put up like are they called trellises? I think it might be trellises is the word. Like put two poles on either side of the row you're planting in, and then put a row it above so it's going over it, and then you attach you put strings from there hanging down the plants can grab onto, and then like and then connected to metal pieces you put in the ground. And then, um, then you just, and they're slightly loose, but, so they're just a little bit loose. And then the plants just grab on with the vines, and they'll just grab on and grow. Uh, shield? Hello? There it is. It's a really slow shield. What did I choose for shield? I guess I can't actually see. So, then the plants are able to grow... Um, they're able to grow... Ooh, vitality. Uh, vertically up. So instead of, like, beans and peas spreading out over the ground, they just climb up the ropes, and then they become vertical plants, and they're much more efficient. And tomatoes can do the same thing. Tomatoes, for tomatoes, instead of the tomatoes, like, drooping down and touching the ground, and as soon as they touch the ground, they're pretty much gone, because, like, bugs and things get at them, so they're all, they turn bad. Uh, hang on a sec. Sorry, I had to go blow my nose, I had another nosebleed. I'm fine, though. So, tomatoes, if they, touch, if they touch the ground, they get, like, eaten by bugs and stuff, and they become useless. So what you can do is... Frost Nova... So if they're growing up, they only grow, like, higher up, so they don't touch the ground. You just get much better things. The other thing you can do is you can cut off any sprout things that grow off. So, for the first while... Sorry, I don't know. Anyway. For the first while, you want to cut off the tomatoes so it only grows new sprouts and stuff. Then, afterward, you cut off new sprouts... So it stops growing and just produces tons and tons of tomatoes. And the other thing you want to cut off is runners. Runners are things that try and create whole new plants out of the tomato. So they're like... They're things that are going to create whole new big branches and stuff, which you don't want. You just want small little branches and the leaves to grow. You don't want it trying to grow another plant. So you cut out the runners and you just get the tomato plants growing. And then they grow big and then they produce tons and tons of tomatoes. And then you have them for whatever you want. Canning or whatever. I'm gonna die. I think we still have a revive, but... I'd like to be successful here. Ah! Okay, we'll revive. Recycling your beverage containers can really pay off. Okay. 
Let's try and not die now. Magic cooldown plus 20%, that's why the shield seems so slow. It's even boosting my attack, though, so... I think radium is pretty good. Or was it uranium? It's probably a ur uranium, not radium. No one knows what radium is. Unless you're into, like, nuclear history, then you might know what radium is. Radium was, like, the first radioactive element discovered. Initially, they just found out that it glowed, and they were like, Oh, let's put this on a bunch of watches and stuff. So they had these, like, girls producing watches. Um, they had these girls producing watches. And they didn't know it was radioactive or what that means at the time. So these girls kept getting sick, and they were, and the people in charge of the watch-making stuff were just like, I'll replace them. And it was later found out that it was, like, poisonous, because it's, it's radium, it's radioactive. It causes cancer and things. And they were advised, they were literally advised to lick the, lick, like, the pen things with radium on the tips. To sharpen them. And radium, radium is, like, I think the first actually... Like, a radioactive... An element's considered radioactive after a certain point. Lead is considered radioactive. Just barely. Lead's, like, the first radioactive one. But it just breaks down so slowly, it's not actually really an issue. The first really issue radioactive element is radium, I believe. And... So you gotta be, like... You have to, so that one, it glows, so people were using it as watches, like, these girls were, like, eating it, kind of. And the people of making those watches got in a lot of trouble for, like, poisoning their employees. I mean, even unintentionally, but poisoning their employees. And scientific data was coming out before they got in trouble, so they were, like, actively doing it for a while. And they were, like, making poisonous, they were making radioactive watches, because they just made watches where the numbers glow, so everyone can see it. Uh, cast speed. So they got in a lot of trouble for that. And that was like the first, that was like the first issue with radioactive elements. I I'm not sure if that was happening before or after the atomic bombs, but... That was one of the first things with radioactive elements. Oh, spirit, satellite, and electric zone damage. I'm using all three of these, that's good. I'm not not moving much. Plus, totem's not actually that helpful. Jew anymore. Excuse me. I know I'm sniffling a bit, too. I'm... There's, like, all, there's like extra snot in my nose or something. I don't know if it has something to do with the nosebleed. It's not blood, though, this time. So that's good. Otherwise, I'd be... Otherwise, like, the video would end because my phone would just turn off after too long of not having to touch it. Because I'd be stuck in the bathroom with a Kleenex to my nose. Oh my god, look, oh my god, look at all these red guys, what? What is all that? Jeez, we're at 26 minutes, I think this is like the best we've done so far. After, actually, since I, I, I expected to die pretty soon again after that first revival, we actually didn't been doing pretty good, I haven't died again. Um, what else can we talk about? I was watching some videos on like, I was watching a YouTube channel make certain videos about, like, just, like, kind of seemingly like random stuff. I watched one about, like, how to stop a riot. It was the first one. It was about the Charlottesville. I don't know. It wasn't Charlottesville. It was about that thing with that one protest that the police handled really badly a couple, like, three years ago. And it's not really their fault. The protesters were, like, shut up way early. And, you know, it's the same, like, protester Trump crazy guys. Of course it's going to be an, of course it's gonna be an issue. You can't blame the police for that. For some reason, they allowed a Trump-crazy protest to happen. I mean, what do you expect to happen? You're letting the Trump-crazies get together and shout. And they're all neo-Nazis, and... Oh, I watched another video, like, a couple days ago, pointing out, like, all the neo-Nazi propaganda, like... 
you through the whole thing, you could only see, like, two neo-Nazi flags, but you could see, like, dozens of hidden neo-Nazi flags. You could only see a couple of neo of, like, Nazi flags. You could see a whole bunch of, like, American flags with the Nazi symbol on. Ones that are, like, symbols of groups, like the Oath Keepers, whose previous flag had a Nazi symbol on it. And you can see ones all about the Confederate States, and, like, they're all, it's all just, they were all just neo-Nazis. And so I watched a video about how to stop a riot, and how they actually did it pretty good for what resources they had. I watched one on how to stop an, um, a pandemic, which is about an African Ebola um, thing that had gotten out a couple years ago. And what you're supposed to do in, like, certain different cases. I watched one about, like, how to, have to handle disaster scenarios. Um, radius. So, like, for floods and earthquakes, you're gonna have different things you need to respond to. I watched one about better airplane security. And believe it or not, Israel has the best airplane security in the world. Because of... Because of racism. <laughs> Because they're pretty much constantly in war, they say palace. They have like n a numbering system, so everyone's taken into an interview, and then depending on your like suspicion level or whatever, you get a number, and the higher the number between one and six, the higher your secure your risk is. And pretty much all like Palestine people get like sixes and stuff, and that's racist. But it also actually kind of protects them because they're like in constant wars, and there's a lot of Palestine. There are more terrorists that would want to do something like that. And it's not to say Palestine people are terrorists, it's just because of the position they're in, they're just more likely to. But it actually ends up working out, and they get like a, they have the best security system in the world. They put all bags through like a thing, through a, like an air um, decompressor. So any like bombs designed to go off when the aircraft is a certain height in the sky will go off ahead of time. Um... But it's really smart. Or it's 17 minutes now. Um, I'm not gonna look up an invisible. I'll take an invisible wall. Invisible wall. That one will probably be quite good in combination with a shield. Just give me a couple extra seconds of in invincibility whenever. I assume that's what it does. It's not just working with the diamonds. And like coming out of a upgrade or whatever. And then I watched another one about like a um an airport they built on an airport they built on the island they banished Napoleon to. I forget what the name of the island was. But they built an airport there a couple years ago. And it's doing It's doing quite well. It, it they had an initial, pro an initial problem where the way they were intending to come in, la land planes in, um, didn't work because of a certain wind shears. They had to come in from the other direction, which meant they had to help. They could only use smaller planes. Otherwise, they'd be going with the wind and they wouldn't get slowed down as much. Sorry about all the nose sniffling. So they only could only use, they had to use smaller planes and it was kind of a disaster at first. And then it worked out afterwards. Money. There's money. Give me the money. Money. Got it. So it ended up working out. Um, and that, and that was all, this was all like a couple years ago they were talking, these videos were made, so. I guess that airport's been up for a, I think it was like built in 2014 or 15, so. Uh, electric shock. Man, I'll, there's just so many red ones in laboratory, and they all just get destroyed so easily. Like, the red ones are all just getting destroyed here. The biggest threat are, like, these really, um... The biggest threat is probably these normal ones. The normal, like, the normal giant ones, because those ones just have so much health. They just, they risk getting through my shield, so that whenever I just accidentally bump into a red one, I, like, die instantly or something. Because those ones just do so much damage. I risk bumping into a big one, losing the shield, and then hitting a red one, and then dying. And that's the biggest threat. I also really need some health right now, because the uraniums are going to kill me soon. 
If I don't find more health stuff, I'm going to die of uranium. I guess I like have to bring this back and then stand still or I'm gonna die of the uranium. The mandrake's not that helpful anymore. I'm not finding like the heal things. I'm like kinda of successfully standing still here. There's a lot of stuff around me now. Um Okay. Get out of there. I can stop for a second now, because now everything just, like, dies to the electric stuff. Heart of Void. I will take Heart of Void. I get a plus 100% max HP. So I get, a, I get plus 100% max HP. So it won't actually, because of the uranium operates in percents, it doesn't actually take longer to kill me, and there's just no heart healing. I've already got rid of the Mandrake, though, so now I just have to stand still if I need, if I need health. Or get, like, more automatic healing stuff. I, I don't think I have the regeneration perks. Be nice to have those. Like, just to automatically have enough so when I'm walking around I can overcome Uranium. Which I don't think I have. If I look at abilities, I don't have regeneration. I have, like, artifacts. Um, this gives me plus 0.5. Or plus 0 0.05, and this is minus 0 0.01, or 0.1. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We're level 57, which is pretty good. And we gotta go six more minutes next time. So, that's when we'll hit 40 minutes, and hopefully we'll, we'll actually hit it. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.